So now we want to actually make the ball keep moving and then have it bounce off the paddle and off the walls. So this means we have to use a loop. Loops help your program keep doing whatever it was doing and it can help it keep doing it forever or it can help it to keep doing what it was doing until a certain um, criteria is met. So what we're going to do is when the green flag is clicked, go to zero, zero, yep, we still want to do this. Point in the direction 90, yep, still want that to happen. Move 20 steps, yep, but then it stops. So let's grab this and pull the move 20 steps up. I'm gonna change it back to 10, which is the default. And then I'm going to go to control and I'm going to put in a forever loop. So it keeps doing it. We're not gonna leave this one in the final version of the game, but you'll get the idea. And we want it to move 10 steps. And then we're gonna use a sensing block that says, and an if then. So if something happens, that little hexagon in there is waiting for something called an argument, which is like a condition. So if it is touching, we'll use a sensing block. Touching what? Touching sprite one, which is the paddle. We'll put it in there. If it's touching sprite one, then what do we want to do? We want to bounce. So by bouncing, it will go in the opposite direction it was going. So remember where we said point in direction 90 to the right? What we want to do is to point negative 90, which is to the left. So we'll pull this in here, and then we're going to say, go negative 90, and then we're going to put this underneath move. So what's going to happen forever is it's going to move 10 steps, then it's going to ask, is it touching it? Then point in direction negative 90. But if it's not, it skips that, and it just keeps in the forever loop and keeps going around. The last thing we want to put in there is something that makes it bounce off the walls. So there's a command in the motion block that says, if on edge, bounce. We're going to put it right there. So it does this if it is touching a wall. So let's see if this works. It should go to the middle, bounce back and forth if this works. Great. Yes, so it works. This would make a very boring Pong game, unfortunately. But we're going to change that in the next step. But that's good for now.